Austin was a good friend of mine that I grew up with. We went to school together, laughed together, cried together, and graduated together. He was the kid that can make you smile even on your worst days. He was one of the funniest and brightest people that I knew. He would do anything for you. On the outside, he proved to be this happy-go-lucky kid, but on the inside, he was far from happy. Austin hid behind a mask of a happy life. He had loving family, wonderful friends, and a good job. Behind that mask, he felt more alone even when he was with his closest friends. Austin was diagnosed with depression. I learned about my research topic through my own personal experiences, as well as extensive research for the speech. Today I will inform you about the nature of depression, the stigmas associated with it, and the effects of this invisible disease. Let's start with the nature of what depression actually is. According to the Depression of Support and Alliance, depression is a medical condition based on the imbalance, chemical imbalance of neurotransmitters in your brain. There are several <laughs> neurotransmitters and they all play different roles in functioning. Think of it as like a rock band. You have a guitar player, a bass player, a drummer, and a lead singer. Each neurotransmitter is a different person, and so with band members, if they don't all play well together, it just sounds off. It's the same works with the neurotransmitters. If they're not all working together, the whole brain function is impaired. Unfortunately, we can't see the wires in our brain, so we must look towards the outward symptoms. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, persistent sadness, anxiety, loss of appetite, fatigue, mood change, and a general loss of interest are some of the symptoms of depression. According to the DSM-5, you must have at least five symptoms persisting at least two weeks or more. They must impair your daily activity and impact your relationships in a negative way. When you have depression, you're in a constant battle with yourself. You feel like you deserve to feel this way. It's this mindset that drastically affects how you go about your day. Anyone can be affected. According to the CDC, depression is on the rise. In 2005, it was estimated that 5.4% of U.S. Americans were affected. In 2013, that number rose to 8%, with 8 million ER visits that year. <coughs> According to a Harvard University study, depression increases 20% each year. According to the International Foundation for Research and Education of Depression, or IFRED, there are globally about 350 million people affected with depression. These victims aren't just random people. They could be your mother, your brother, or your best friend. Now that you know what depression is, let's take a look at what depression isn't. There are several misconceptions regarding the world of depression. A personal favorite is, oh, it's just a phase. While depression can last from several weeks to several years, regardless of its time frame, to the person who is affected by depression, it feels like an eternity. A couple of different stigmas, um, it's for the weak-minded, or it's just for women. While it's true that depression is more prevalent in women, men are also affected by this disease. One of the more common ones is that they're just sad. While depression does encapsulate feelings of overwhelming sadness, you're not always sad. Some days you do feel sad. Other days you feel you're overwhelmed with anxiety. And some days you feel nothing at all. Happiness is fleeting at best, but if you're lucky, sometimes you'll feel it. According to system scientists, due to social stigmas, depression more readily goes untreated. In fact, 80% of individuals who don't get treatment. Now that you know what depression is and isn't, let's take a look at the lasting side effects. Detrimental side effects of depression can affect everyone involved. You can potentially lose your job, your friends, your lovers, or even your family members. You begin to feel alienated. You no longer feel a connection with people. You feel like an outsider even within your own group of friends. A lack of understanding from friends and family also plays into this. It's really hard to explain to someone something that they've never experienced before. Suicide is a very real and lasting effect of depression. If someone confides in you that they're feeling depressed or suicidal, you may initially think that they're just exaggerating or that they're seeking attention. But what if they aren't? According to the CDC, for every two homicides, there were three suicides. That's about 30,000 a year. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, 90% of those deaths are treatable or preventable. For most victims, suicide isn't about ending their lives, it's about ending their pain. In conclusion, as we have seen, depression can affect millions of people. It can be your neighbor, your best friend, or the quiet kid sitting next to you in class. My friend Austin that I mentioned earlier, he had depression. This month actually marks the one year anniversary of his suicide. Austin was one of many amazing people who lost his battle with depression. Through learning about depression and their stigmas, we can help reduce the effect, effect, concrete effects of invisible disease. <coughs>